So, Excellencies, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome you to this uh, Broadband uh, Commission for Sustainable Development uh, Spring Session in Hong Kong. It is a great pleasure to be with you here in Hong Kong, China, for this uh, spring meeting of the Broadband uh, Commission. Maybe some of you already come to Hong Kong many times, uh, more than I do, but it's the first time for me to be in Hong Kong in March. You know, that in the past, always uh, in winter, in December. So I found something uh, new to me. So I hope you will uh, enjoy your visit to Hong Kong at this moment. So it's uh, wonderful to see so many familiar friends and faces uh, around the table. Indeed, the last time I saw many of you was at the World Economic Forum's annual meeting in Davos, where we hosted a special session attended by a total of five heads of UN agencies and many of our industry CEO commissioners. And those five heads of UN agencies, of course, including Irina Bukova, our co-vice chair, and also Alan Clark, UNDP, and uh, Ponzilla, the women, UN woman, and uh, two male colleagues, that uh, Hussein from uh, Director General of uh, UPU, and uh, Mr. Lee Yong, the Director Secretary General of uh, UNIDO. I was very pleased uh, my colleagues come to join us at uh, that was meeting. There we had an excellent debate about uh, furthering the investment case. So I'm delighted many of you have made the effort to come here to Hong Kong, China. I would like to express my warm thanks to our chairs, His Excellency President Paul Kagami of Rwanda, and uh, Mr. Carlos Slim, represented by here by Mr. Carlos Jack, my dear friend and my co-vice chair, Irina Bukova. I'm deeply impressed by the commitment and the dedication shown to the commission by the co-chairs and my co-vice chair. Let me also express my sincere appreciation to our host, my dear colleague, uh, Madam Sen Yafang, and her team from Huawei, who have been fantastic in welcoming and supporting us all. And I know, like all of you, I'm looking forward very much to our tour of Huawei tomorrow in Shenzhen. The spring meeting is always a very productive meeting for the Commission, a meeting in which we can share views and speak frankly and openly, and I encourage you all to do that at this meeting. Distinguished colleagues, this Commission remains committed to our central conviction that uh, broadband is critical if we are to achieve the sustainable development goals. And some of you also mentioned that uh, maybe also in particular mobile broadband. I'm delighted to tell you that ITU is carrying this message as far and wide as possible. I personally am engaged in significant uh, outreach with many industry executives and uh, other UN agencies. Of course, I also convey this message to my visit uh, member states when I talked to the head of states and head of government over the last uh, two years, including my recent visit to FAO, and we are planning to work with UNIDO on the importance of small and medium-sized enterprises and I would encourage you, our commissioners, to reach out to other stakeholders as well. All too often, it is assumed that the importance of ICTs for development must be widely understood, but in fact, this is often not the case. ICTs are seen as a secondary sector, a sector where the primary sector will solve everything but in fact, that is often not the case. ICTs 
underpin vital achievements and modern services in many other sectors, and the government and industry have to work together to create the enabling environment so badly needed in many countries to facilitate the growth of broadband for sustainable development. In this respect, IT is in fact currently working on preparing a report, insights into ICTs for achieving the SDGs, presenting perspectives from many heads of UN agencies, and a warm thank you to Irina in this regard for contributing your personal insights into broadband and education. And during my recent uh, conversation with the new Secretary General of the United Nations, I also advised him that we have this report, and he's very pleased to get uh, information that uh, the report could help uh, the UN to further facilitate the ICT's assistance to the other SDGs. The reports find that today, more than ever, ever before, Broadband and ICTs offer large-scale opportunities to transform economies, empower individuals, and uh, contribute to development goals. So ICTs offer a lot of uh, promise with many potential opportunities, but there are still significant and uh, substantial digital gaps that need to be bridged. Some 3.9 billion people without internet access and around 5 billion people without mobile broadband. And I know Dennis has a lot of ideas about that. And the importance of uh, providing everyone with uh, 3G. So I recently worked with uh, Israel and Palestine to try to provide a 3G service in Palestine area. And I was very pleased uh, last week to get some progress report. And we heard a lot in the working group on gender yesterday about how to bridge the digital gender divide. And there are issues in other sectors as well. And we need to be vigilant about putting safeguards in place to protect consumers, given the extraordinary abilities of new technologies. For example, how we how we are health and education sectors adapt to the digital transition. Most people would agree with healthcare workers having access to confidential health files in the name of diagnosing and treating diseases. But what would happen if that information were leaked or shared with either employees or health insurance providers? In this regard, I was very pleased to see that we had a truly excellent report by the Working Group on Digital Health released at the Mobile World Congress, which raised a lot of issues that merit discussion. I think that Mars might give us more information. Our commission continues to go from strength to strength. Everywhere I go, people ask me about the work of the Broadband Commission. So we are clearly building momentum, and in this respect, I'm pleased to announce new commissioners who will join us at our next meeting. The Commissioner Ansi of the European Commission, the Vice Chairman of the uh, European Commission, to replace uh, Mr. Odinger, the Commissioner, uh, who joined us in the past. And uh, Mr. Pei, R.G. Pei, the Chair of FCC, and I had a phone call with him uh, recently, several times, and he's pleased to join us. And from the interest I see in the commission, I'm convinced we are really building something we can be proud of. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a working meeting, and we are expecting to learn from you with all your insights and uh, some more debates. In particular, as the commission's targets, are now six years old. We would like to ask you for your inputs to modernizing and updating them, noting that over the past five years, they have helped highlight the Commission's work and allowed us to measure 
the progress that has been made. And when we talked with our uh, partners, and I talked with uh, our co-chairs, they all expected new and updated ideas of uh, targets. Our flagship report, the state of broadband, provides a valuable snapshot of the current status of the broadband industry. I invite you all to get involved now and contribute to this annual exercise. And we are also looking forward to the high-level political forum, HLPF, which will take place in New York from 10th to 19th of July this year on the theme Eradicating Poverty and uh, Promoting Prosperity in a Changing World. The HLPF will examine goals 1, 2, 3, 5, 9, 14, and 17 and the targets for this. And perhaps the Commission should consider hosting some kind of a side event for the HLPF to really bring home the importance of broadband among the many government ministers and policymakers in attendance. That is an idea I just put out there for your consideration. And in fact, this morning prior to this meeting, with uh, co-chairs and my colleague, co-vice chair, we exchange views on this, and we like to bring your ideas to that uh, session. And uh, myself and uh, Irina will go, so we can see what uh, you think and you would suggest. Thank you very much, and let me uh, conclude by wishing you all a very productive and uh, fruitful meeting. And now I would like to also invite my colleague uh, Irina to have her remarks. Thank you.